Hey, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. This is part two of the Adobe Customization Wizard 11. We've already built our silent install for Adobe Reader. Now we're going to deploy it using PDQ Deploy. Uh, if you recall, I've got, I'm just going to minimize this quickly. There's our um, uh, Adobe installation, or our reader installation files, along with the uh, MST that we just created. So let's install this. I'm going to right click on Acryl Read and say Deploy with PDQ Deploy. This is one way to start building a package. By doing that, it creates a new package window. We'll call this Adobe Reader 11.0.10, uh, because this is Adobe Reader 11, update 10. All right, step one. There's our, MS, our Acryl Read MSI. Now, if you just install this, it's going to install Adobe Reader 11, but with no updates. Uh, we do need to do this, however, for those machines that have never had it. Uh, the parameters we want. This, we, we create a transform file. So the parameters to uh, add a transform file is transforms equals in the name of the file. Uh, if the file is in the same directory as the Acro Read MSI, you don't need to put the path. We just put our name, Acro Read 11, I believe, .mst. Let's make sure. Maybe I'm smoking crack. I'm probably smoking crack. Nope, Acro Read 11. All right. So transforms equals. It is important for this first step, we're going to include the entire directory because we don't we need more than just this Acryl read MSI. And uh, we'll say, we'll call this step install reader um, 11. And now we're going to create, my goodness, a, a new step. There's our step install button. It's an install step. We'll call this now update to 11.0.10 and uh, click the little ellipsis. Take us to back to our reader directory here. We want the MSP for 11 update 10. Perfect. We don't need to put any parameters in this one. Uh, like with all MSIs and MSPs, we'll automatically run those silently and we don't have a transform file for this one. So in this case, no, uh, no additional parameters are needed and we do not need to include the entire directory, not for step two. Perfect. And we'll hit save and um, close. I don't even think I, uh, I have Adobe Reader on here. Let me just make sure I don't. Nope, I don't. Nope, I do. So we're gonna we're gonna go to a different machine. That's okay. We're gonna deploy this uh, new Adobe Reader 11 package, and uh, we're gonna choose a couple of computers. You can type in the name of the computers, or obviously you can import them from Active Directory or SpiceWorks. I'm gonna use PDQ Inventory. I've got a collection here that it's, uh, shows machines that don't have Adobe Reader 11. I'm going to choose Childs, and we'll do Coach. How about that? Just for an example. All right, those are the two that we're going to deploy to. We'll hit Deploy. And we should uh, run two steps for each computer here. We're going to run the first step, which installs the base, Adobe Reader 11, and then uh, the update, which is Update 10. All right, and you can see they were successful. Took about a, took about a minute. All right, I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.